Hi, this is Stuff with Kirby. Today we're going to take a Raspberry Pi and a Pi Maroni piano hat. I'm going to show you how to set up your Pi to use this piano hat and how to map your own sounds to the keys. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start out at the Pi Maroni website again. So this is a product page for the piano hat at the bottom. It's a tutorial. This one's really easy to install. Just one line of code to write. So, highlight it. We'll paste it into our Pi. Ask if you want to continue. Yes. So now that's going to install. It'll take a few minutes. Going to use the Raspberry Pi A Plus or Raspberry Pi A, whatever it's called. Yeah, A Plus. It's perfect size. It's same size as the hat we're using. And I have a bunch of them laying around. All right, while that's going on, let's let's look at the GitHub page for the piano hat. So it gives you a few specs. Also, it tells you how to install it right there. Some other stuff, if you want to do MIDI. I haven't really tried that out yet. I don't have anything MIDI to uh, interface with. So let's look at the examples. So you have a few, you have simple piano. We'll look at the code on that. So the way it picks instruments is by folders in the folder called sounds under Pimeroni piano hat. And then it counts the number of files in that folder and every 12 become an octave and when the program starts out the first octave it is is if I had four octaves it would divide it by two and it would start out on octave two if I wanted to change the octave then while using the piano hat you have the up and down keys for that or if I want to change the instrument so let's look at the sounds folder and see so you have piano and drums in the drums folder, there's not 12 sounds for the 12 different keys, so not every key is going to have a sound. Now the piano folder has quite a few sounds. So starting in alphabetical order is where it goes to the first 12 files, that becomes octave 1. Next 12 files, octave 2. So when you do put files in there later, if you're custom making your own sounds. A way to number them is 1A, 1B, and then just keep going through the alphabet until you get to 12. I didn't do A1 through A12 because sometimes they, when programs sort, 1 and uh, 11 are close together, not 1, 2, 3. So here on the Pimeroni site tutorial, it also talks about how you can make your own file and your own sounds. Now here it says how to add some custom sounds, but there's a problem here with their description. There's only five files. When I try to follow this, I would get errors if I hit one of the keys after the first five. So you had to put in 12 files in the My Sound files for it to work. 
you can keep duplicating the same sounds. It doesn't have to be 12 unique sounds. But if you try that out, that's something to keep an eye on so you're not wondering, well, why does this program keep crashing? So now I'm going to show you how to grab sound from your favorite soundboard, which might be the Daft Punk one for this. So you can't just right click and save the files. So we're using Audacity and we want to select Windows Wasapi and then pick our speakers. And now when you hit record and you press the buttons, it's going to record the sound into Audacity. So once we got that, we want to highlight the clip part of the clip we want and then play it just make sure it's good if not adjust your bars and then we go file export selected audio and name that something and just save it locally for the moment now that we've got that done we put it on a thumb drive and we move it over to the Pi so here I'm just going through the folders I'm gonna grab the folder of all the sounds that I have Oops, I opened the wrong window. So I want to move my folder that I've made called Daft Punk over to the Piano Hat folder under Sounds. So Pi Moroni, Piano Hat, Sounds. Now just copy that folder right on over. We're going to look at the folder here in a minute and see that I named the files as I mentioned earlier 1A, 1B so the keys are where I want them on the piano. So we see the first 12 here will be uh, octave 1 and the last 4 will be octave 2. Using the simple piano Python code. You don't have to have 12 for every folder. It'll play fine with just 4 for one octave. The other keys just won't do anything. So now I'm going to run the simple piano Python script. And in our window we'll be able to see what instrument we're on and what octave and also when you press a key it'll show you on the screen what key, what sound it played so you can use that for troubleshooting if you want to line up the keys and you're wondering why it's not playing right so you're not hearing anything because I didn't have audio but you can just see what pops up when I'm pressing some buttons on the piano hat now we're going to run the simple piano Python script. So it starts out in piano. You can see it presses. Hit the octave button. Goes different octaves. Instrument again. Now we're on the drum. Hit it again. And we'll go to our Daft Punk folder. So you, so you see our sounds are there. It started at octave zero want to go up one we just hit up so you see now we're not getting anything here because we didn't have 12 files for the next octave but it'll play the first files until so let's go back down one where everything is so you see it works pretty well now I'll we'll try another program. This is the learn to play where the light lights up for each note. So you can look at the code for this one. You can make the LEDs do whatever you want or to play your own programmed music. So this is the 8-bit synth demo. 
There's only one octave for this one and one instrument. But what's neat is if you hold the key down it just keeps going. <laughs> Kinda like beep boop beep boop. My piano skills are non-existent. I hope you liked this video and that it helped you understand how to use the piano hat and how to set it up. If you have any cool projects you make with it, let me know in the comments. Be neat to see. And as always, if you have any other suggestions for videos I should do, let me know in the comments also. And thanks for watching.